What's up, guys? I am so all about the musics. Bring you another album review. Uh, gonna talk about Machina 2, Friends and Enemies of Modern Music. I was informed that I was pronouncing the album name wrong. Um, I seriously thought it was pronounced Machina, so I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Machina 2. And, you know, there really isn't a lot I can say about Machina 2 that I, that I haven't said already, because Machina and Machina 2 are very, very alike. Machina 2 is just a continuation of the Machina sound and, of course, of, you know, the the loose concept story behind the albums. Uh, there, there really isn't a whole lot of difference as far as style goes. Um, you know, you got this this proto-cyber metal thing going on with songs like Glasses Theme, uh, Real Love, White Spider, stuff like that. And then you, But I do have to say one thing. The softer songs on Machina 2, I like a lot more. Way, way, way more. Um, they're not... It's weird because they're not like they're not smashing pumpkin songs. They really aren't. They they just don't sound pumpkin 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 esque enough. Uh, but they are catchy. They are pretty good pop songs most of the time. A couple of them I really don't care for. Go. I don't like that song. Dross. I don't like that song either. Um, the the version of Try 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 that's on Machina too. I like a lot better than the version on Machina. Uh, and the remix of Heavy Metal Machine on this, it's got like an industrial feel going on. I like that, I dig that too, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, besides that, there really isn't a lot to talk about except the production. Uh, now, I like the, the Pumpkins overproduced style. I think that complements them a lot. Uh, they, the, if, a, if a Pumpkins album is underproduced or isn't mixed the right way, like we saw with Melancholy, some of the songs just weren't mixed properly, and the production on that whole album was pretty, you know, pretty subpar, and it, it kind of detracts from that album. Um, the thing about Machina, <laughs> I, I just combined Machina and Machina and said Machina. Okay. The thing about Machina 2 is, is that the production varies from song to song. There are some songs that are mixed, you know, like they should be, and then there are some songs that are just, they're mixed pretty poorly. Uh, they're distracting in their sound. White Spider is one of those songs. I think that, you know, even if, even if the, the idea behind that song was to make it sound uh, muddy and rating like that in the mix, I think that was a bad idea. I think it could have been a lot better if it was mixed a little, a little, a little, uh, a little better. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, the, so it's not so much the production as the mix of the songs. There are things that 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 are too far forward, and then there are things that are too far back. You know, it's it, it's not it's not up to par. Um, I think it's Cash Car Star, Jimmy's drums are pushed way forward, and then on this song, Real Love, I think Billy's vocals are pulled back way too far, and the keyboard is more present over the distorted guitars. I think the distorted guitars on Real Love could have been pulled out a little more, it would have been cooler. Uh, so yeah, you know, there's really not a lot I can say about this album. Uh, it's better than M Machina, uh, but I would put it beneath a door and you know this is this is their last album I don't care what you say Zeitgeist is not a Pumpkins album it isn't and uh, yeah that, that that piece of shit anyways this is their last album um, so and I, I you know it's an okay way to go out they, and I have to I have to give them props because they went out on their on their own note or rather on Billy's own note. You know, they didn't they didn't try to please please fans that were pissed off at them for doing a door and the machinas, you know. They went out or they went out on their own terms. So I got to give them props for that. And you know, I like I like the, the machinas. The 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 kind of the harder songs on the machinas. Uh, I think they're really good. I think they're awesome. I think I think that if 
the Pumpkins would have taken all the all of the like cyber metal songs from both albums and then just put those all on one album. That would have that would have been the shit, man. You know, that would have been totally awesome. And the, you know, there's enough cyber all the cyber metal songs that they did on the Machinas are good, and there's enough of them there to make a whole album. So yeah, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So I can give this album a six, you know. Right in between uh, Machina and Adore. It's a six. So, yeah, you know, that's all I got to say. There really isn't a lot more to say. So, this is Sir All About Music. I'll see you guys next time.